Hi there, this is Pete with BoardGameBoost.com. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the assembly and use of the character stands for the game Battlestar Galactica by Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, some things you'll need, uh, I recommend wearing some basic plastic gloves just to avoid getting fingerprints on the stands as you assemble them. And you will need a hard surface to press down on. Any regular table or desk will do. In my case, I'm going to be using this construction mat. When you receive the pieces in the mail, most of them are going to be in brackets uh, like this. And these pieces will need to be punched out of the brackets. So that is one thing you'll need to do. This, these pieces like this are all acrylic pieces that have protective paper on them. But you will receive two brackets that are these darker material. It's kind of more of like a wood material. This material is HDF. And you may be saying to yourself that this doesn't look very attractive compared to the acrylic. And that's true, but that's okay because this is simply uh, the pieces for an assembly tool that we're going to use that's going to make your life easier while you're actually building the stands. Um, we do need to assemble the tool itself and you may be wondering why you want to waste your time building a tool when you're not actually going to use it uh, during gameplay but once you see how this works I think you'll be uh, pretty convinced that it's worth worth going ahead with. So I'm just punching the pieces out. There are some little punch out cutouts here that you just just get rid of. Okay. So basically what we're going to do here is, to assemble the tool, there's just a couple of pieces. There are two identical pieces like this, two identical pieces like that, one long piece, and then off to the side, you are going to have one piece of acrylic that looks like this. It won't be in a bracket, it's just going to be like, it, like this by itself. It does have paper on it, but you don't need to peel it off because again, this is just going to be for uh, an assembly tool. So to actually build the tool, what we're going to do is very simple. We're going to take one of this, uh, one of these pieces, and we're going to take one of these, and we're going to snap them together. The whole thing snaps together. You can see that it's impossible to build this incorrectly because of the way the tabs are built. So we're just going to take these two tabs, go into the slots, and put some pressure on, and it just snaps together. Then we're going to take the other piece, and we're going to do the exact same thing in the remaining two slots here. Okay, you can see them right there. And again, it just snaps together with some light pressure. Okay, we're going to take the other piece that has the uh, arm on it. We're just going to make sure it matches up to the other one. And we're just going to line up these slots. Like so. And then apply some pressure downward. And it just snaps together, just like the other side. Okay. Now, we're going to just back the top out just a little bit. We're going to take this acrylic piece and we're going to fit the two arms of it into these holes on the top, like so. And then we're just going to snap it back together very simply. I'm just having a little angle. There we go. Okay, so now it just flaps around. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take our long piece. It has this uh, square tab on one side that goes towards the front and these notches just fit against fit in these grooves right here and then you'll see that these uh, little pins sticking up in the back fit in these grooves so we're just going to go ahead and slide it in very simply and then once it's up front all the way slid front you're just going to line up these pins in the back and that's it now we have our assembly tool ready for use okay so we're going to put that aside for now before we actually assemble a stand, let me just show you what a fully assembled stand looks like. It's going to have a blue centerpiece, two thin clear windows on both sides. It's going to have a blue base, and on the very bottom of the base is going to have a clear piece. Okay, so it's good to know what you're building before we get started. So let's go ahead with that and actually assemble a stand. Before you do assembly, you will need to peel the protective paper off both sides of every piece. Uh, I ship it with the paper just to protect the pieces from any damage during shipment. Uh, to make everything easier though to remove the paper, uh, every, every product from BoardGameBoost.com is always going to have these B protrusions. They look like letter Bs. The B stands for break off. And so what you're going to do is, you see how there's a line at the 
uh, bottom of one side of the B. So you're going to push away from that and simply break that piece off. It just snaps off very easily. And what that does is it takes the paper with it. So you don't have to be picking for an edge of the paper with your fingernail. So again, here's the other side. I'm just going to break it off, snap it off. And it gave me a little piece here to grab hold of. And then the paper will just come with it. So I can do it with the gloves on without a problem. And again, I don't have to uh, be grabbing for an edge. You saw in that case that the B protrusions were back to back, but sometimes they are in different places like this. So you always want to be carefully paying attention. You don't want to make sure you don't want to break off any of these um, pins that are actually needed for assembly. Always look for the B shaped protrusion. So here we go. I'm going to do that again like this and just peel the paper off. Oh, I broke it there. I apologize. Okay, there we go. And again, the B on the other side, boop, and the paper peels right off. One more time uh, here. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's take a look at all of the pieces that make up a stand. You're going to have two pieces that make up the main frame, the blue base piece, and two clear window pieces, and lastly, the clear piece at the bottom of the frame. Assembly is extremely easy. Here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to start with this main uh, blue center frame. It may be red if you're assembling the Cylon leader stands. The assembly is identical for either. Okay, and we're going to attach the blue base to it. The base has a lot of holes, but this is going to go right in the middle. So you can see these two pins line up right here. This is just going to slide on. It doesn't actually snap in. It just slides on. Okay, so it could just fall right back off. It just slides right over those pins. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this clear piece and we're going to line it up exactly the same way, but this actually is going to snap on. So you're going to line it up and then you're going to want to place some just light pressure right over the pins. You want to make sure you never apply pressure anywhere else on this frame or else you risk breaking it. So line up the pins with the holes with this clear piece and just put your thumb right under on, on, over the pins and apply pressure and it will snap together. You heard that. It'll wiggle quite a bit. That's fine. This is uh, at this point, this is uh, just a loose assembly. Okay, so now we have this frame sticking out of the two pieces of the base. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our two window pieces and we're going to get them into these slots. You can see that there are, um, well, it looks like many holes, but there are three holes that these pins will fit in and they'll go right alongside this frame. So we want to just get them started, but you don't need to put any pressure downward. Uh, with this new tool, you're not going to have to worry about putting any pressure in and keeping this straight. Um, so it's very difficult to accidentally break this stand while you're building it. So just get them started. They'll slop, flop around like this. That's fine. At this point, we're going to take the tool and get this ready for use. So I'm going to bring out my construction mat just so I have somewhat of a flat surface to build on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this sandwich together. I'm going to take this tool and you can see there's a slot down the middle here, an opening. Okay. And I'm just going to simply put this right over the sandwich that I've made. Okay, just like that. There is a space here at the bottom where the stand sticks out. There's another one on the other side, just can't see it because it's under this part. Okay, and as you can see, the entire thing is sticking up a bit past the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to just flap this over. And this is where we are going to apply some force. This whole area right here is for your non-dominant hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to use my left hand here and I'm going to put my palm right down on it. And what I like to do is actually stand up and apply some my body weight straight down in it. So I have a lot of good leverage. Now with my right hand or your dominant hand, I'm going to put my palm right over this flat part right here. And I am going to apply some force straight down. It is pretty much impossible to break this stand while it is in this tool. So don't be afraid to use your force. And what I do is I'm going to do three to four heavy pushes straight down. Okay, here we go. And you'll hear it snapping as I do that. Here we go. 
Okay, I got most of it on that first one. You could hear it snap. I still do it just to make sure it's fully in there. You can release it and now take it out. And as you can see, this whole thing is now firmly assembled. There's a lot of uh, tension that holds this whole thing together. It does, it can wiggle a little bit, but for the most part, it's pretty tight. Now, if you end up looking here and seeing that you have some space between the panels, you can just pinch them together here and that'll make it even more secure. Okay, and that is how you assemble a stand. It's very easy and quick, as you can see. And so now what, you're, what you do is whenever you want to play a game of Battlestar Galactica, once you've chosen your characters, you simply take your character and slide them in, or her in, and then you take your cap piece and just line it between the two panels and put that in, and now you've got your character in a nice stand. On top of that, the set comes with these rings to denote different uh, titles and status things. So in this case, if you were the mutineer, you would have this one and it just slides right on over. Or maybe you're the president, in which case it's this one, it just slides over. Um, one thing that's important to note in this game is uh, if you have the CAG, um, there's a ring for the CAG, but often the CAG is out in a Viper flying around the board. And when that happens, there's a uh, special CAG uh, ring, if you will, for the pilot token. So you just take this, and if you are the CAG and you're out flying a Viper, you can just put your pilot token in this so that everyone knows that that is the CAG flying around out there. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you is that this, this game, the set, I should say, does come with a replacement uh, token for the nukes just because the nuke tokens that come with the game are um, a little underwhelming. So it comes, it comes with two pieces. You simply take this red piece, line it up over the hole, and then you're just going to apply some downward pressure, and you'll hear it snap together. And once it's snapped together, it will never uh, need to come up. It won't just fall out. It'll stay secure for the rest of um, your ownership. So once you assemble this once, you won't have to deal with it again. And that's pretty much it. Once you're done with this, you can just pop the top. There are little ridges on the side to pull that out. And then you can just dump the piece out. Uh, and you'll be ready for another game of Battlestar. Or maybe uh, this guy uh, got ejected out the airlock and you have to pick a new character. Either way, you can interchange them in and out of these stands very quickly and easily. So that's it. If you have any questions or concerns about the product or during assembly, I'm always here to help, so please just drop me an email. And thank you, as always, for watching and for your interest in this product. If you do buy it, I hope you enjoy it. And always remember, if you're playing, you're already winning. See you next time.